And if you were out and about today, water, that was a must. Yeah, meteorologist Marina Jerka is tracking the heat out there, Marina. Yes, a lot of triple digits, a lot of 90s. It was our warmest day of the year, but the good news is it's going to be our warmest day of the week. So we're only going to chisel away and go down in the opposite direction as we head into this evening. Looking at our next weather live radar, you can see that those thunderstorms are still active in our higher elevations, but in the last 20 to 30 minutes, we have seen big improvements. So really anywhere from the San Gabriel Mountains heading all the way into the Antelope Valley, the Ventura County mountains. That's where we've been seeing these spike up and they will as we continue into the next couple of hours. But it was just about 20 minutes ago that we saw a lot of thunder and lightning here, unfortunately, right in the area where the post fire was. And so that's why we have a flash flood warning in that region. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. And then a few isolated thunderstorms popping up into the Antelope Valley. So there's the flash flood warning right at Fraser Park. That's until 930 tonight. And that is because of the burn scar there from the post fire. Everyone else is seeing some very toasty temperatures out there. It is 91 still in Simi Valley, 98 in Santa Clarita. We've got 93 in Claremont, 96 in Riverside, and 83 in Santa Ana with 100 degrees right now in Victorville. So today was the warmest. We're going to chisel as we head into the rest of the week, but we still have an excessive heat warning for the Antelope Valley. You folks will stay in the triple digits all the way through Thursday, and then we have a heat advisory until tonight as we move into the rest of our viewing area minus the coast regions for temperatures that could top out anywhere in the mid to upper 90s. Now, because of all of this, ozone levels are unhealthy. So we have an air quality alert through Tuesday for pretty much our entire viewing area with the trouble hot spots right now you can see in the red dots. And that is very unhealthy throughout the San Bernardino Mountains and the foothills in that region. So high pressure is creating a dome and it's sitting right on top of us. And as we progress into the next 24 hours, the good news is, is this high pressure will slowly make its way out towards the east. And as it does, it's because that low pressure is moving in from Baja, shoving it over to the east and allowing for an onshore flow to return. So slowly but surely, we'll see a little more cloud coverage along our coastal areas, and then that will bleed inland, and that will definitely help our temperatures improve as we head into the midweek. Highs tomorrow look better already with 76 at LAX, 78 in Laguna Beach, 89 as we head into Burbank, 104 in Palmdale, so still very hot in the Antelope Valley, 97 in San Bernardino. Looking at the extended for the LA and OC Metro, we will be looking at the 80s returning, which is so nice. And then as we move into our valleys, triple digits still tomorrow, but the 90s do come back. And then it looks like by next weekend, we might see a spike in heat once again. But at least as we head towards the next couple of days in the Inland Empire as well, we're going to inch those temperatures down a couple of degrees. Back to you. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.